Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith and I'm here and I'm going to be doing a debt update. Since it's the time of year when taxes are going out and coming in, we have done our taxes, we got our tax return and that is all taken care of and the, the, the dust has settled so to speak. So I feel like this would be a great time because this is uh, March is the last month of the first quarter of 2017, so let's just go ahead and get an update um, in and out of the way. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and talk about is this number right here, this $11,300. That is my official um, amount of debt that I have left at this point. So... Um, I did use some of my tax return and we paid off $2,000 right away. As you may or may not know, I was hoping that I would be able to offer a settlement to the hospital to just pay the settlement. I gotta sneeze. Um, pardon me, and be done with it for less than the $13,000 that I owed. I had like $6,000 and I offered it to them and they just laughed. They, they did. They, they were like, yeah, thanks, but no. We'll give you 10% off, which would be $13,000. So it would be $1,300. So that would have still been about $12,000. And I was like, I have $12,000 to give you. I have about half that. And they were like, yeah, thanks for calling. Bye-bye. And I was like, Ugh, not how I wanted that to go. So we did send them $2,000 um, out of our um, tax return. And then we got some stuff that we really, really, really needed. If you want to see how we spent our tax return, I put my hand up. Hey, it's, yeah, look right here. And I will link um, to the video of how we spent or what we did with our tax return. because. We did some stuff with it. I feel like we it went a long, long way. So I have one thousand or eleven thousand three hundred dollars to pay off to be debt free. So here's what we are doing, or what I have is each month I have a different tab down here, and this is Chris's like base pay that we get. So I have each week in here, and I just kind of fiddled with the numbers a little bit, and this is not um, completely foolproof because you can see, like, I've paid stuff, like, all in one, which is great, which is one of the benefits of offloading um, most of our debt. We don't have a ton of payments. We have, like, one payment now, and um, that means that we're able to pay most of our bills in, like, one paycheck, if not uh, two than the first half of the month. So you can see that I have here Christmas. Actually, it says $1,200, but I have $1,500 budgeted for that. Um, and I have been putting in like important things that I need to remember. My birthday, Chris's mom's birthday, diapers. Um, so as I've been going through the year, I went through and I put in, you know, what I would be paying towards this to see when I could pay stuff off. Um, and every once in a while I find an error here. Like this is not right. There, I fixed that. So now it's pulling from the um, the spreadsheet the, the last number of the month before. So I went through and you can see I have my payments planned out, planned out, planned out. And honestly, until I get to about the last half of the year, which is like three months from now, I'm not really paying a ton of off of debt because you can see here it's like $10,276 and I owe $11,300. So it's like $1,000 in the next like four months, which doesn't seem like much because it's not. Go ahead. It's a crisis. The TV won't come on upstairs. So you have to wait till I'm done with filming, okay? <laughs> Did you find the remote? The big red button on the, the big remote is the one that turns on the TV. It's on the desk. Go try it. 
Okay, so, but then once August and July roll around, you can see I'm I'm putting some pretty hefty numbers, um, almost like a thousand dollars, like eight or nine hundred dollars, and I'm able to actually do that through the rest of. Oh, some of these are like huge numbers. Oh, look, I have a no spend September, no spend timber, no spend timber like changes the world. I'm just saying, um, October. Also, I have these. 300, 300, 200, lots of big payment months. And right here, even down until the end, you're going to, here's something that I want you to notice with, with the way that I'm planning when it comes to Christmas, because I will have all of this money. This does not even need to be paid to Christmas. Just boogering up my numbers because Christmas is already paid for way before December. All of my payments. I'm still making huge chunky payments. So it's looking like by the end of this year, I will have paid down to just right at $5,000 remaining, which is like $6,300. So that's not like the hugest, you know what? It's a respectable amount of money considering that we make less than $40,000 a year. Um, it, we we do put a big chunk of our income towards putting down our debt. So um, here, this tab down here is a big deal for me because what it does, I'm going to move this. This is from when I had the credit card over here. I had my interest rate and it would actually figure out like what my interest was in not an exact way, but kind of a close way because it doesn't do the day, the average daily balance compound, compounded by monthly. It was just like compounded monthly and blah, 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 blah. So, but over here, this is kind of my, this is my, my area that I really like to see. Um, and this is the thing that I was using that I don't really get to share with Chris. So I created the, um, the paper chain so that we could do that together. And the girls could have a visual that is appealing to them. What I have here is for 2017, this right here. These are all linked to the months in the spreadsheet. So when I pay something off or if I pay a weird number, or, you know, 87 cents or whatever, it will actually pick that up and put that in here. It pulls that. So you can see that in January, we owed $13,583.99. I paid my $92 payment. I paid a 92, actually, we paid a $92 payment in February and $2,000. So you can see we had kind of a big jump. I paid $99.99 because this, it made it like a nice even number. So here's something that, because it was hard for me to put my mind around, how long we had to pay. So if I paid my $92 balance or my $92 minimum, I have 146.65 months left until this is paid off. That That's just like a number that is like, I don't even know how much that is. It, it's 146 months. How, how long is that? So I had to add a column that divided this by 12 so that I would know. So this is 12 years. Uh, 12 years of $92 payments. Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. So if you look here, when I paid this $2,000, it like cut two years off so it's very satisfying for me to see that so it only cut part of a year off on this one like a month but a little well it's a little bit more because it's only a 92 dollar payment but you can see that when i make these payments like some of these months i hope i have like really big chunky hopeful payments um in oh gosh i just would really like for both of these and you can see where it goes from 102 to like 84. Like that's a big jump. That's like a year and a half that it cuts off. I mean, that's a huge number. So anyway, this is kind of like my my 
inspiration like it's something that really helps me so when i can come in, so when i come in here i can see how many months and how long that is and then i it also does go down it goes all the way down because originally when i started this it took until september of 2029 to pay it off like wow so here every time i or every time that the payment goes in at the top because remember how i said 2017 is linked to keep pointing with the fingers to the to these sheets here so if like i got um I don't know if I won the lottery and I got a thousand dollars and I put it towards that, it would automatically update in these numbers because these are linked to the sheet. So it would just automatically reduce everything. What why does it say oh nine thousand this? I'm like, what? I'm making a nine thousand dollar payment. I wish. That would change my that would just ugh. anyway, focus. So what it does let me do is it does help me scroll down to see that like I am right here. If everything goes as planned, it will be August of 2022, which is way better than 2029, right? So it just lets me kind of play with the numbers. I can put some numbers in like if I go to December and put five grand in. It shows me and I get really excited, but um, anyway, that this is, I just wanted to show you what I do with my debt and how I like to, to nerd it up. Um, maybe if I get a job, like a, a seasonal job, like I had this last year in October, these will be like big fat thousand dollar payments. Wouldn't that change it? That would totally change the world. So. Right now, my debt, like I said, is at $11,300, and by the end of the year, it is estimated I will be right at $5,000, so we'll see how that goes. We'll see if that continues or not, but I just wanted to share what I'm doing as far as nerdy numbers, what I'm playing with, and what my my forecasted projections are so wouldn't it be great if I got done this year I don't know how that's going to happen but you know sometimes you just have to ask the universe you have to ask God you have to ask whatever your higher power is you just have to tell them you just have to say what you want I want to be out of debt this year so I want to be out of debt this year I don't know where we'll find five thousand dollars I don't know if we're going to get a ton of overtime I don't know if I'm going to find some kind of amazing job. I don't know what that's going to look like, but that's what I want. Hear me, universe. Um, you know what? Maybe it will come in the form of, of $5,000 being forgiven off of our loan from the hospital. I don't know. That could happen. That's like, that is finding $5,000. They just say, hey, never mind about that. A girl can hope, can't she? So anyway, I've, uh, I have chattered for a long time about this. So that is just my financial update about my debt and what I plan to do and where I'm going. And well, that's all folks. So Chris is going to cut our debt payment off for the month. Ooh, so that represents March of 2017. We made our payment for this month. And we are one ring shorter.